Summit County has a problem with recycling, and Christmas time can be the worst. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Here's a radical idea from High Country Conservation Center. When in doubt, throw it out. That was Jen Shank with HC3, Summit County's local recycling hub. In 2018, voters approved $1 million annually for recycling programs, and a recent study shows we've got a big issue with contamination. I think there's a lot of folks that are really trying to do the right thing, and we call it wishful recycling. Like you just think to yourself, oh, this is so important to me. I'm not sure if it can get recycled, but I'm just going to take a chance and hope that it does. One of the biggest culprits is single stream recycling. 40% of our recycling loads were contaminated, meaning only 60% of what was in the single stream recycling was actually recyclable. So how does that compare to the rest of the state? A typical contamination rate for recycling, you want to see less than 10 percent. On average across the state, it's more 10 to 20 percent. That means we are almost literally throwing money in the trash. It's also just a huge waste of resources in terms of we're, we're transporting trash to a recycling facility that then cannot actually recycle it. At Christmas, contamination includes styrofoam, wrapping paper, and plastic bags, none of which can be recycled locally. It's confusing, and it's especially confusing for visitors or for folks who have just moved here. So folks really need to go to our website, highcountryconservation.org, and check out what is recyclable in Summit County. If your HOA or condo does not have on-site recycling, HC3 highly recommends asking for it. Find recycling drop-off centers in Frisco at County Commons off Highway 9 and Breckenridge on Coin Valley Road near Broken Compass Brewery. Meanwhile, a post on One Man's Junk Facebook page from today shows overflowing unkempt cardboard at a drop-off in Dillon, illustrating HC3's uphill battle. The 2020 census is nearly four months away on April 1st, and the federal government could use local census takers. The census pays $20.50 per hour for part-time census work in Summit, Eagle, and Garfield counties. You get flexible hours and gas reimbursement up to 58 cents per mile. See jobs and apply at 2020census.org. In 2016, 55 federal programs gave Colorado $13 billion based on census data, and the state population has grown 13% since the last census at adding 660,000 residents. Summit County has grown nearly 11%, adding 3,000 people. The Dillon Ice Castles are back for a third winter, beginning this Saturday in downtown Dillon. That custom installation is one of six across the U.S., featuring ice spires and slides and thousands of LED lights that sparkle at night. The Ice Castles are open Saturday through March or April, depending on conditions. Get tickets at icecastles.com. Today is the final solar eclipse of the year, and sadly, it will not be seen in North America. The eclipse passed the eastern hemisphere this afternoon, including Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia, and it's a partial eclipse known as an annual eclipse thanks to the moon's distance from Earth this time of year. Images show a blazing halo of fire around the moon's rim. In sports, all Colorado teams are off tonight, back tomorrow with the Avalanche. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, the Breckenridge Vipers will be back on home ice tomorrow, Friday, when they host the Vail Yeti for a two-game home series. First game is 7.45 p.m. in Breckenridge. Get tickets at breckvipers.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.